Hey, how's it going? So a lot of people have been wondering how to combine dreadlocks. And uh, there's a couple different ways, and a lot depends on how old the dreads are. Uh, if the dreads are brand new, then just rubber banding them together, especially at the roots, and then, you know, like every two inches or so down the length of the dread um, will help a lot. And then palm rolling, you know, every couple days uh, will help them lock together as they lock. If they're not new, and you know, they're, or they're close to mature, then they've already done the majority of their locking, and they're not really going to lock together too well. But another option uh, is to use the lock doctor, and the way it works is it's basically pushing hair from one dread into the dread beside it. It's almost like you're sewing the two dreads together with their own hair, and it works really well. If you're not ready to combine them yet, but you know that you will eventually, and go ahead and put a rubber band on there and start clockwise rubbing them as one dread. Put it on snug, never tight, loose enough that you can roll it up and down the dread if you try to, but tight enough that it will stay there, you know, pretty much where you put it. And then after they've been growing as one dread for a little while, at any time, um, you know, it'd be like a Y. Y. Y, Y, Y. And you can see that the two smaller ends are mature and the, um, you know, the part where it's combined is nice and solid. So to begin combining them with the lock doctor, what you're going to do is align the two dreads, one right in front of the other, and then you're going to poke the hair with the lock doctor from the first dread into the second dread. Into the other dread. Into the other dread. And you'll work all the way down, flip it over, and come back down the back side. When you're actually poking, you want to make sure that you hold the two dreads nice and tight together. All right, Keeping them together is going to make them tighter, and it's also going to prevent the dread from spinning. You always want to poke towards the center. If you poke towards the edge of the dread, it'll tend to make the dread spin when the tool hits it, and that can cause the tip to bend, and that's the quickest way to break the, uh, the poker off the end of the lock doctor. Uh, if you do break it, you know, you can put another one in, the, um, you can swap them out, but poking straight in and straight out will prevent the dread from turning, so you won't break the needle. So when you start poking, you're going to poke about every half centimeter or so, um, and work your way straight down the dread. And you know, you're poking away from yourself, you got your thumbnail there in case you slip and hit your thumb. And you know, poke, 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 move down a little bit more, poke, 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 and work your way down, you know, to the ends. Now, after you work your way all the way to the bottom of the dread, to the tips, you're gonna flip the dread over and come back down the back side. And pay attention to which parts are not combined yet and give those areas a little bit more attention. And then come back and palm roll the two. Palm rolling the dread is really important. Real important. Because you'll have, after the you know the hair sticks out the other side, you'll have some straight hair that stuck through and is sticking off the surface. So when you palm roll it, that will kind of work down and, and you know smooth out and look a whole lot better. And then over the next like couple washings or whatever, they'll continue to tighten. And if you see a spot where it you know they're coming apart, there's like a little bit more of a gap there. You can go back and work on that later, kind of touch it up, I guess so to speak. You can see that it bends and moves with one dread. They're not fully locked yet, but they're pretty close, and it looks a whole lot like one dread. I hope that works out well for you guys. If you have any comments or suggestions, hit me up on Twitter or on Facebook. All right, we'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye. Yeah.